Pro PS5 controllers, or controllers with back buttons or back paddles, are growing in popularity. So much so, that Sony have decided to release their own Pro version of the DualSense controller. Not available at the time of this video, but I've got one pre-ordered for release day delivery. In this video, we're going to be judging five of the best PS5 Pro controllers on a variety of different factors. I should also point out before hundreds of people do in the comments below that yes, you can mod your own Pro controller using an extreme rate kit for a much cheaper price. Now I might be a gamer, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not a nerd. I'll happily pay over the odds to not have to mess with electrical products, thank you very much. Let's start by taking a look at the contenders. We have the Scuf Reflex FPS, the Battle Beaver Pro Pick, the TCP Pro, the Defy Pro Ultimate, and the Hex Gaming Ultimate Premium. First round, design and build quality. All controller brands in this review, with the exception of Scuf, give you a huge number of customization options for totally changing how every piece of the product looks and feels. It's likely that brands use the same faceplate suppliers for their custom designs, so any credit or criticism of designs should go to the part that I've chosen for the custom build on each controller, rather than towards the brand and the controller itself, again with the exception of Scuf. I got the Scuf Reflex FPS in steel grey. It has a dark grey faceplate with a black interior and rear side with black grip on the handles. A number of the elements on the controller have a carbon fibre look, including the triggers, the four back paddles, though I removed one of them, we'll get to that, and the edges of the thumbsticks. I love how this controller looks. I purchased the Battle Beaver Pro Pick in Cosmic Red. Other than the colour and the two tiny, weird looking back buttons, which have a raised grippy surface, there is no difference in how any of the versions of this controller looks compared to the standard PS5 DualSense controller. The TCP Pro is another that looks just like a regular DualSense but with added functionality, especially because I got it in the default white colour. The thumbsticks are slightly different to the DualSense thanks to a patent edge and the two back buttons, known as click sticks, stick out a long way. I think these click sticks look ugly. I got the Fallen Samurai version of the Defy Pro Ultimate PS5 controller. The design is not to my taste. The glossy faceplate does not feel as nice as the matte coating on the other controllers and gets slippy when I sweat, and I sweat a lot. The thumbsticks are textured with more grip than a regular controller, and there are four back buttons. Well, I've described two as back buttons and two as paddles. Finally, I got the Hex Gaming Ultimate Premium controller in a garish golden black. It was potentially the start of a midlife crisis. The gold looks tacky. The thumbsticks are identical to those on the Defy Pro Ultimate and the back is similar to two buttons, two paddles, though in a slightly different layout. A difference that you will notice when playing, I should point out. Overall, it's unfair to decide which of the controllers look and feel the best because a lot comes down to personal preference and even more comes down to the designs that I chose. That said, there is one standout controller in the design category, the Scuf Reflex FPS. Of the five controllers being reviewed, three rattle a lot when shaken. The Scuf, along with the TCP Pro, does not rattle and a lack of rattle makes the controller feel like a higher quality product. Round two, the back buttons. Three controllers in this review have back paddles, the Scuf, Defy, and Hex controllers. The Scuf has four clear paddles, whereas the latter two controllers have a hybrid of two buttons and two paddles. I find that the Scuf's additional back paddles, the third and the fourth ones, get in the way, but they are removable. I had to remove an inner paddle because I was continually triggering the wrong button. It seems very easy to press both paddles or the wrong paddle, at least with my hand size, medium to large, and the way my fingers rest when playing. The Battle Beaver Pro Pick is the only PS5 controller in this list with two clearly defined back buttons. They're small, odd looking buttons described as textured beaver tail button caps, but they're perfectly located for easy pressing. The TCP Pro has what the brand calls click sticks, two of them that don't really feel like buttons or paddles, they're sticks, and that's the only way they can be described. They trigger by pressing them downwards rather than inwards like on other controllers. Out of all the back buttons and paddles, the controller I find most comfortable to use is the TCP Pro. The click sticks allow me to rest my fingers naturally, whereas the others force me to wrap my fingers a little more tightly around the controller and it gets uncomfortable after prolonged periods of play. Whilst the back buttons on the Battle Beaver look the worst, they're located in a position that makes them extremely easy and natural to press, and they're very consistent too. I actually really like them. The controller that I found the weakest in terms of comfort and ease of pressing the back paddles was the Hex Ultimate Premium. Whilst very similar to the Defy Pro Ultimate to the eye, the K1 and K2 buttons, which are the main paddles, were much easier and much more consistent to press on the Defy controller you have to give them quite a bit more force on the hex model to activate. The K3 and K4 buttons, the inner back buttons, were more consistent to press on the Defy controller too. Round three, the triggers. The Scuf Reflex FPS, the Battle Beaver Pro Pick, and the Hex Ultimate Premium all feature what I would describe as true mouse click triggers on all of the L1, L2, R1, and R2. You barely press them in to operate and they sound like a real mouse click, crisp, responsive, and satisfying. They make me go, yeah. 
The Defy Pro Ultimate has shortened L1, L2, R1 and R2 buttons and triggers, but they're not the mouse click style. The TCP Pro has regular L1 and R1 buttons, but shortened triggers in the same style as the Defy Pro Ultimate. I give the edge to the Scuf, Battle Beaver and Hex controllers in terms of functionality and that satisfying crisp click. However, the Hex controller has a small amount of pre-travel, which means you can slightly press the triggers in without the trigger registering, which adds a small amount of input delay. The Defy controller also has a small bit of pre-travel on the shortened triggers, but the TCP Pro does not. Overall, the Scuf and the Battle Beaver PS5 controllers come out victorious in the digital trigger category. Round 4, Grip. Three of these Pro PS5 controllers have grip on them, the Scuf Reflex FPS, the Hex Ultimate Premium, and the Defy Pro Ultimate. My opinion is that built-in grip is a big win for how comfortable a controller is to hold for prolonged periods. The grip on the three controllers that do offer it look somewhat similar, but all feel different. The Scuf Reflex FPS is the softest to hold, the Defy Pro Ultimate is the most coarse, and the Hex Ultimate Premium falls in the middle of this Goldilocks-like tail. The more coarse the grip is, the more grip you have, however, some people find coarseness to be uncomfortable. I find the grip on the Scuf Reflex FPS to be the most comfy. I'm surprised with how positive I've been about the Reflex FPS considering I gave a very negative review of the Scuf Reflex Pro, which is the next model down. Round 5, Thumbsticks. All of the controllers in this review come with interchangeable thumbsticks, with the exception of the Battle Beaver Pro Pick. On the Scuf Reflex FPS, changing the thumbsticks is simple when you know how, but a little convoluted. You must peel away the bottom of the controller and slide it off over the thumbsticks, then swap out the thumbsticks for the ones you want and reinsert the bottom cover. It feels unnecessarily fiddly compared to the other controllers. With all of the TCP Pro, Defy Pro Ultimate and the Hex Ultimate Premium, you simply pull on the thumbstick to pop it off and then press the new thumbstick straight in. All sticks on these controllers have a bit of texture to them for added grip, though the Defy and Hex controllers have more grip than the TCP Pro. With all of these controllers, aside from the Battle Beaver of course, you can change the height of the thumbsticks. You also have the option to insert domed thumbsticks rather than the standard concave thumbsticks should you wish. Overall, there is no clear winner in the thumbsticks category, though there is a loser, the Battle Beaver. Round 6, Reliability. PS5 controllers and reliability are two things that I'm not sure will ever go hand in hand. Stick drift, where your controller is registering movement from your thumbsticks without you pressing anything, is a highly prevalent issue on PS5 DualSense controllers. I've owned and used the Battle Beaver Pro Pick for at least six months, and I haven't had any stick drift issues so far, so that's the controller I can vouch for most in this area. That said, I genuinely expect all PS5 controllers, including these Pro options, to have issues with drift eventually. Round 7, Value for Money. At the time of this review, these are the prices for all of the controllers on their official stores, not including delivery. The Scuf Reflex FPS is $249.99. The Battle Beaver Pro Pick is $204.99. The TCP Pro is $160.73. The Defy Pro Ultimate is only available in pounds at $139.99, which is $159.57 at the time of recording, and the Hex Gaming Ultimate Premium, which is $199.99. But most importantly, which which one offers the most value? This is where things get tricky. As the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. With the prices these products are listed at, the functionality almost scales accordingly. I think the cheapest option, the Defy Pro Ultimate, offers a lot of value. Whilst the plastic back paddles do feel very cheap, I like how they operate. They're very consistent, responsive, and easy to press. I'm actually a bit taken aback by how much I like the Defy controller as I write this review, and I look at things more objectively, as I didn't really feel that much love for the controller during testing. I think it's likely that I was put off by the glossy front plate and a design that isn't to my personal taste. Overall, the Defy controller is actually very good value. However, it's lacking the mouse click triggers that I really like, yeah. instead opting for shortened triggers. I find the TCP Pro has the most comfortable back buttons to use, but it's missing grip and mouse click triggers, again going with shortened ones. In the middle of the pricing, there's the Hex Ultimate Premium, and it arguably sits in the middle ground in terms of its functionality and quality, though I do find the back paddles on this controller to be the hardest and least consistent to press. I'd say it's probably my least favourite overall. I previously thought the Battle Beaver ticked the most boxes in terms of responsiveness, having mouse click triggers and well-placed back buttons 
that were consistent to press, but I don't like the feeling of it quite as much now that I've trialed more controllers with grip. It also doesn't have interchangeable thumbsticks. I don't change my thumbsticks personally, but if you are the type to switch to lengthened or domed sticks, this could be an issue for you. And then there's the Scuff Reflex FPS, a product I was expecting to hate based on my testing of the Reflex Pro, but actually, I really like it. I don't think the Scuff's paddles are quite right for my hand size or preferences, but the controller feels like the highest quality product overall. It does have a high price tag to match though. So it's time for the verdict. The judges' scorecards are in. The real question here for our verdict, is the most expensive controller in this list, the Scuff Reflex FPS, worth $90 more than the cheapest, the Defy Pro Ultimate? And the answer to that question, it depends. If you only care about getting the core benefit of back buttons and paddles, such as the ability to react faster in FPS games, I'd say no, it's not worth spending the additional money. Get yourself a Defy Pro Ultimate or a TCP Pro. However, if you place value in how a product looks and feels, you do get a more premium product for the money with the Scuf controller, in my opinion. The Scuf feels like the highest quality controller, the TCP Pro is the most comfortable controller for my hands, and the other controllers are all viable options, and if you want to get really creative with your controller, controller design, Scuff is a no-go due to a lack of customization. The Battle Beaver Pro Pick is the best bet for functionality if you don't want grip, and it's worth pointing out that the majority of professional players in the Call of Duty League secretly use Battle Beaver controllers even though they're all sponsored by Scuff. They do use PS4 controllers though, and play on PC. 